and you still get it. I will pay for for that inadequacy of yours. Don't tell that there was a particular celebration that was postponed, or should I, or maybe cancelled, or not put on hold. God said that it shall come in a bigger and a better form.
in Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. Father, thank you for this. God said that you tell somebody there is a gathering that is going on right now against your family. God said that they are being scattered. Yeah. By the reason of your connection with this particular service, they are being scattered. Yeah. They are scattering by the reason of confusion. They are not in no agreement and they are scattering. Yeah. Thank you. Father, we thank you because you do miraculous things that we cannot even understand. We don't even need to see them, but we believe you. Father, in a few moments that your word will be shared. Please bring upon your word. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we um, worship and pray. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated briefly because we'll still continue and conclude. He said, I have 15 minutes more. No problem. But we are going to be talking about in spirit and in truth. In spirit and what? And in truth. You know, one way to get into the heart of any person is to find out the likes and the dislikes of that person. The do's and the don'ts of the person concerning the affairs of the person. You cannot say that you love somebody, you want to you want somebody to love you, and you you are aware of what the person does not like, and you keep on doing that, and you must not be serious about your desire for that person to love you. Because if you really want somebody to love you, you want to find out what the person likes, or loss, and you want to do it so that the love will automatically just flow from the person to you. And God is no exception to this rule. And one thing about God, you know, Jesus Christ was telling his disciples in the book of John chapter 14, verse 15, John 14, 15, he said that, if you really say you love me, keep my commandments. The commandments are actually a set of do's and don'ts. Things that God does not like and the things that he likes. If you love me, so true love is seeking to do the likes of the one the person loves and avoiding to do the don'ts. And Jesus Christ also gave us a powerful revelation about this our God. That we all desire to love us so that He can favor us. Because if God is for you, it does not matter anybody that is against you. But the thing is that how can one get God to be for him? You must find out what he loves. And Jesus Christ said something in the book of John chapter 4, verse 23. John 4, 23. He said that the Father seeketh. There are some people the Father is seeking. He said that this is a divine expo I'm giving to you. Some people are seeking God. But God is seeking some people. If you see God, you may not find him. It's hard to, it's hard to find him seeking him by yourself. Whenever he says that you are found him, he made himself to be found. Nobody can say, let me, let me find God. If you find him God, he, he made himself to be found. But there are some people that God is seeking. Who are those people? Those that are worshipping him are. In spirit. But the hour coming and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. And God, Jesus Christ was telling us that he that seeketh will find, that is human being. 
Now, if God is seeking, we didn't find him. But there are some sort of people he's seeking, people that worship him in spirit and truth. Who are those people? That is what an intelligent Bible student will ask. Not just to be reading and be cramming Bible. Who are the people? I really want to be among these people. Who are these people? And how can a person worship God in spirit and in truth as I want to? How? Because I want to know so that I will do it. I will tell you today. Worshiping God in spirit and in truth entails you neglecting your body and your soul. Out. Man is a tripartite being, meaning that he is a spirit, he lives in a body, and he possesses a soul. Three in one being, man. God did not say that those that worship him in body or in soul, what you think, what you feel, is not about your, meaning that you disregard your body and your soul. Your body, so and many of the challenges that we go through there in our body, and the emotional trauma that we go through there in our soul, these things can make a person unwilling to worship God. But when you are worshiping Him in spirit, even when your house rent has not been paid, when you have no relationship that is settled. You have no person to call your own, no time to call your own, no money to even buy food. You don't even have whatever the physical things that people desire. It will not stop you from worshiping. You put that aside and you worship him in the spirit. And it's not about how I feel. It's not about what you have experienced or what you are experiencing Meaning that the person neglects. Are you talking with this sound? Technical. At this, we be our. But we have mentioned whoever is the person that. Of course, I will not now go here myself. Go where person Jesus said. It means that you disregard, worship God in spirit and in truth. Jesus Christ says something in the book of Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. Matthew chapter 16, verse 24. He said that anybody that is calling himself or himself a disciple and does not deny himself, then the person has not started. It does not matter whether the person is calling himself or himself big brother, big sister. There are some big brother, big sister, they believe that they, they are now to sit down and let the small boys be going about the small girls. Thank God that I am somebody that is being following after my father in law, Pastor Yadeboe, who does not say small boy, small boy. He of a small girl go and be evangelizing. He does more than any one of us, whatever he has sent us to. He said that he that does not deny himself. Carry your cross, whatever your cross. If there was something that is a cross, say that don't let that one stop you from worshiping me. Then said Jesus, on, then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and then do what? Follow me. Deny yourself. I can deny somebody that is not me. I don't know him, oh. Even though I know him, I don't know him. But now he said, I deny yourself. I, I can say, I don't know myself. Deny yourself is that you are feeling bad, but you are denying yourself and worshiping as if you are not feeling bad. You have not been settled, but you are worshiping him as if that is that is not, you cannot reconcile the person and what the person is doing when the person is worshiping God. God is seeking those kind of people. To worship him in spirit. They are not in truth. In truth is people that worship him in line with his instruction in the world. 
John something something, John something something, then that you sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is truth. Worshiping in truth is that worshiping in line with his word. What is that his word? 4 Thessalonians chapter 5, 18. 4 Thessalonians chapter 5, 18. In everything. How many things? In everything. You have lost a loved one. In everything. You have not been settled in a particular area. In everything. Somebody just annoyed you. In everything. You should do what? Give thanks. Because what has happened is what you know. What would have happened, you never knew. It could have been ten times worse. And God kept it minimized to that extent. That is why as this year is going to an end, the next month team, God has already given us rejoice. Because the tendency that many Christians, they have a shadow of themselves. And they are doing like the world. Because this year has been devastating to many businesses, many families, many people. Of course, and they are still counting deaths in some places, second lockdown, all those kind of things. Oh, God said that in everything. And when you do that, that is when God will seek you out and miraculously says to you. But if you are here or you are online, you are not giving your life to Christ. Or you are giving your life to Christ, you are just decided to backslide. What is this thing, self? All this year, I've been, I planned this year. Coronavirus just came and just scattered everything, and God is watching them. If we are like that, don't allow the devil to rob you. Even when you start worshiping him, he may not be accepted. Too. Because if you are backstay there and you are started doing what you once say you will not do, because you are maybe you are hungry with God, or you are maybe it's my life. It's not your life. It's not your life. There is it that owns your life. When you read the scripture, you discover that. And you are accountable to him. And there will come a day that you stand before him and he will be asking you concerning the life that like that way you now know that it's not your life. But before you get to that time, you can actually come to him. So that any time you worship him, it will be acceptable. Proverbs chapter 15 verse 8. Proverbs 15 verse 8 says that the sacrifices of the wicked is an abomination. But when we upright, when we come to praising like this or worshiping, it will be accepted. Even if it is for two minutes, it will be accepted. Shall we bow our head? If you are here or you are online, you are not giving your life to God, you want to make the decision, or you want to reconcile with Him, or you want to return to Him, wherever you are, why don't you make this pronouncement after me? You can lift up your hand if you are in the house, lift up your hand and we'll pray. This is a very awesome time. Lift up your hand and he will give you the card. Or if you are online, don't repeat these words after I say my heavenly father. I thank you for this time that you have used to draw me to your presence. Forgive me of all wrong that I have done. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus. And write my name and flesh in the book of life. Help me to stand where I've been falling and surround me with positive influences to keep standing for you and in you till I see you in glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. If you have made that confession, God will sustain you. Shall we rest our feet? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Don't say that there is somebody here. You came from a family that they worship the God of thunder. And that has affected many things in your life. Don't say that you have been delivered. Don't say that there is another family masquerade. In fact, in your family, that happened to be your family was known for that masquerade carry in a particular regard. 
there are some covenants that are still potent in that family and it's still affecting you. God said his mercy has located you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I surrender all to you. Services, please let's come. Also, in the evening, will be a powerful program worship concert tag. We bow live concert 4 p.m. Let's come. It's going to be 
a time of intense worship and miracles. The Lord Almighty God will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Also, um, there's going to be there's a free medical um, test and screening you can see on the board, free eye check and affordable eyeglasses, free consultation and the likes. And uh, from the Vita Care Hospital and Maternity, 712 A Close House 13. Please let's go there. I think we have the flyer or the technical people will leave it on the board. The Lord Almighty God will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. If there's any other announcement that Pastor brings to our notice, it's time for us to celebrate uh, God for this awesome worship service. Even as the choir will be leading us. Please let's rise. You can greet yourself by the elbow of Chuck Noku. God bless us, choir, please. I have come to give back to you. Amen. 
in the area that your mouth has been shut up, like Zechariah. Let God do something that will cause your mouth to be enlarged. Yeah. I decree between now and the end of the year, people will congratulate you. People will celebrate you. People will celebrate with you. That you have not even thought in your mind that you will get in goodness. Places that you have not imagined that you will get to. Before this year will end, as long as God is the one that is the Almighty, God will get it. Amen. And God will get you there. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That faithless man said, Even if God creates windows in heaven, shall this thing be? The man of God said, that You have to see it, but you will not taste it. And he actually saw it, and he did not taste it. I'm decreeing by the unction of that same man of God that by this time tomorrow, let things that have been difficult in your life. Let things that even great men of God have tried to lay out on you, anoint you, and not work, let God turn it around. Yeah. Let it be like a dream. Yeah. In the similitude of Psalm 126, that when the Lord turned the captivity of Zion and Aram, you were like them that day. That scripture will come alive. Yeah. Let that scripture come alive in your life. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. That financial challenge that you have received divine provision. That retrogression that you have experienced, losses that you have experienced this year, let God make up for them. In the name of Jesus. There's somebody that experienced devotion that I'm hearing right now. Triple promotion is coming your way. I think triple promotion is coming your way. We cancel that devotion yeah. and it will not place you a step ahead. Yeah. I cover your life with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. I cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. I cover the entire destiny of yours with the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Yeah. Uh, are you glad that you came for this? Let me go read my brethren that I want to say God bless you because they are also part of this service. God bless you. All our brethren that are online, God bless you. I feel like singing this song before we, we do it. I think we have about two points. God of wonders. God of wonders. Invisible God. It's the spirit of the spirit. Then we can if they are smart enough. You are great, you do miracles so great. God of wonders, invisible God.
Amen. God bless you.